What's up YouTube, welcome back to the Wall of Monkey channel. Let's dive into the three charts that you should be looking at to follow everything for consumer credit. Now, these are the only three charts that you really need to pay attention to. Now, I understand that there's a ton of data constantly being shared and some of it is being shared to deceive or um, actually to, to misinform you, right? So what I wanted to share with you so that you can be sure that you get an accurate representation of how consumer credit is really looking in the market right now is to share these charts with you. Before we get started though, let me show you the chart that you've probably seen that's floating around that you might not want to actually pay attention to. Okay, so this is the photo that you've probably seen. It's uh, gone viral. Variations of this has gone viral. Um, it either looks like this or maybe it's a direct chart from uh, Fred Data itself. But essentially, this isn't that accurate. And the reason why is we need to look at a couple things. First off, these two always diverge, meaning they go into opposite directions. Secondly, is this is three on the right hand side, the percentage. It's not at zero. So this looks like it's going towards zero, right? Which makes it look more dramatic. Now, I don't know if this is done on purpose or on accident or what, but this is not zero on the, the right um, on the right side and it's not zero on the left either. This is 720 uh, as a representation of billions in US dollars. So zero on both of these would be like way down lower, right? So this looks scary and it looks like personal savings rates are bottoming out. They're at 3.1%, which is accurate. And this number is accurate as well. It's just understand that 3.1% is not zero. And zero is a you know, fairly long distance away from here, right? And then it's even more so on this. Now, we could argue that they do this to compress it so that it all fits nicely and looks better on the chart, or you know, maybe this is to deceive, okay? A better look at all this would be something like this. So I'll keep this up for a second so that you can kind of decipher this. We got savings rate average, we got credit utilization average, and then the solid blue is credit utilization, and then the solid uh, lighter blue is savings rates. So savings rates are low, here's zero, so here's a better representation of what this looks like. Long way between 3.1 and zero, right? But also too, understand that uh, the utilization rate is also below the average and it's below some of the, the worst points and the highs that we've seen in the past. So enough of that, let's get back into the charts. Okay, first one you need to look at uh, is revolving consumer credit owned and securitized. This is seasonally adjusted for inflation, et cetera, right? So if we just remove, first off, if we just remove all of COVID, okay, then if we look, this line is pretty much a straight trajectory. So the trajectory hasn't really changed. If you were to just, you know, erase that little part, maybe we'll do a little fancy edit on it. If you were to just erase that, it's pretty much right back on track with the same trajectory it was before. It's just that dip was so big and so dramatic that it makes it look like it's maybe bigger than it actually is. Here's an alternate that you could look at, consumer loans, credit cards, and other revolving plans, all commercial banks. Um, this shows a similar representation, like if we look, right? Pretty similar. Um, so you could look at this instead, or if this gets updated first, understand then with all Fred data, it is pretty delayed. Like this is showing Wednesday, October 22nd, 2022. And this is showing September, 2022. Some of this data is showing quarter two of 2022. So it's like three, four months behind. So understand that too, and, and what you're looking at, okay? And then we've got a zero access here on this chart, and then we don't have a zero access here. So again, you, you gotta really keep that in mind because this, when we're looking at this, our, our perspective is from here to the bottom. and. In your brain, you naturally think that the bottom is zero. It's not, in this case, it's 200 billion. Okay, next chart that you need to be looking at. This is probably one of my favorites to look at. It is household debt services as a percentage of disposable personal income. TDSP is the ticker if you wanna just go into Fred. So this is uh, fred.stlouis.org. You could type that in and see it. A lot of times too down here, if you don't really know what this is telling you, it'll tell you down here, the household debt service ratio is the ratio of total required household debt payments to total disposable income. Okay, it's the it's the ratio between the two. And this was last updated in quarter two. So it is a little bit of a, uh, of, there's a lag there, right? That being said, this gives you a great indication of where we're at, especially the grays are always recessions. So if you reference this, you know, uh, cross references to 2008 and the recession then. Okay, so it starts to give you perspective. I'm not here to tell you what to think. I'm just here to explain and show you perspective. Also too, the percentage on the left is eight. It does not start at zero. So this line here is not at zero. We're all the way up at eight. So again, take that into consideration. Zero is probably like way down here, right? And last chart to look at, and then I'm gonna give you three bonus charts to look at as well, is delinquency rate on credit card loans, all commercial banks. This is DRCC. L-A-C-B-S, you'll see the 
little ticker right there. Okay, and this is up until quarter two of 2022. We've got one on the left, so we're not even, that's not even 0% but we are historically low. Like the baseline is 2%, okay, on this, or 2% average, I guess. So we are still below that. So again, take that into consideration on the delinquency rate, despite everything that you're hearing about, despite all the doom and gloom, okay, it's at 1.81% right now. That's what you do know. Now, let's get into the three bonus charts. These are actually new. They just started this back in September. Large bank consumer credit card balances, 30 or more days past due. This, I think, is, is a very valuable tool, right? So we are at 1%. And again, if we look on the left, this is not a zero line as well. So just keep that in mind as you're looking over this chart and the data was last updated in quarter two of 2022. So it's at 1% right now, okay? Next, large bank consumer credit balances, total balances. If we look just comparing it to 2019, we're not at that same level. We're 675 billion versus 714 billion. And the left-hand side, we're not seeing zero as well. So keep in mind that that is 500 billion is the bottom of this chart. Okay, lastly, to show you this, uh, large bank consumer credit card balances, uh, share of accounts making the minimum payment. I thought this was like a really valuable chart to look at, right? So I would add this into the mix as well. 7% uh, percent is the actual left line. So we're not even getting a zero line on the left. Uh, keep that in mind, like zero is gonna be like way down here, down in the description, okay? And this has, some of these have really good descriptions, some of them have really bad ones. Here's the description for this right here. Give you a second to read that. And the last update was quarter two of 2022, 8.11%. Okay, so that's it. There are the three charts that you should be paying attention to, uh, an alternate on those three, and then three additional charts that you might wanna add into the mix. I'm gonna give you a link to the direct data itself on the St. Louis Fred uh, in the description box below. That's it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, any charts that you like to look at that you think we uh, maybe missed on this list or any other economic data sources that you really like to look at. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much, that's it. See you next time. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet. Right there. Okay, bye.